Thank you. It's now time for member statements. The member from Sarnia Lambton. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I uh, rise today to inform this House of a very special recognition, recognition that was made recently in my hometown of Petroy, Ontario, in which I was able to be there as well at the time. Mr. Speaker, on March 31st, 2015, Petroleum resident Mr. Ted Paisley was awarded the French Republic's Legion of Honour medal at a special ceremony, which I had the good fortune of, to attend at the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 216 at Petroleum. The Legion of Honour, Mr. Speaker, is the highest decoration in order of merit bestowed by the Fr French government was awarded to Mr. Paisley in recognition of his significant contribution to the liberation of France in 1944. During World War II, Lance Corporal Paisley, who enlisted at age 16, was a motorcycle dispatch rider with the Canadian 4th Division and participated in the breakout from Cannes, the closing of the Falais Gap, the capture of Cannes, and the capture of Cousy and Abbe d'Ardenne. His unit was engaged in the attack on Verrier Ridge, the operation to seize Bretville sur Lays, and the operation to capture Falais. He also fought in Belgium, Holland, and Germany, and was in Germany when the unconditional surrender of the German army occurred. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of all members of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to Mr. Paisley. He is truly deserving of this special honour and our unwavering gratitude, and now is addressed as Chevalier Ted Paisley. Merci. Thank you. Member Stavitz, the member from Windsor, Tecumseh. Speaker, today is World Autism Awareness Day. In Ontario, support is provided for children with autism until they turn 18. Now, wouldn't it be great and magical and fantastic if autism was cured on everyone's 18th birthday? Obviously, that'll never happen. Many of us have heard about the family in Ottawa. They could no longer care for their severely autistic son, and so they left him at a government office. In recent weeks, my Windsor office heard from a mom with an autistic child. Her first email came to us with the subject line, in need of help from a struggling mom. Chastity Theoret is a single parent with three kids. One of them, Cecilia, is autistic. Cecilia will be turning 18 later this month. The plug will soon be pulled on her provincial support system. Celia needs care 24-7. Chastity can't work outside the home because she cares for Celia. Without the financial help that she used to receive, the family will suffer. Group homes cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Why not pay the primary caregivers to keep autistic adults in the family home? Speaker, people with autism have feelings just like everyone else. They may express it differently, but they too feel love, happiness, sadness, and pain. As we commemorate World Autism Awareness Day, let us join our autism families and look for ways that the government can improve their quality of life. Let's open our minds and our hearts to ensure new opportunities are put in place as they pursue stable and meaningful lives with dignity and respect. Thank you. Stevens, the member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in 2013, the Ontario Legislature passed a bill to recognize April as Sikh Heritage Month. April is a time when Sikh Canadians celebrate Vaisakhi, a day that marks the establishment of the Khalsa and the Sikh Articles of Faith. By proclaiming the month of April to be Sikh Heritage Month, we acknowledge the significant contributions made by Ontario's Sikh community to our province's social, cultural and economic fabric. In fact, just last night, I joined the Premier and many of my caucus colleagues at a reception to mark this special occasion. It was a memorable evening. It was also a reminder of our province's incredible diversity. In my riding of Halton, for example, the Sikh Cultural Association has had a strong and active presence in our community for close to 20 years. In addition to offering religious services, the association provides important cultural and social supports to Halton Sikh residents, including Punjabi classes, traditional music lessons, translation services, and granting access to a library. <coughs> the association also contributes to our local Canada Day festivities and supports the Red Cross, Salvation Army, food banks, and offers shelter to the homeless.
Speaker, the Sikh Cultural Association is an inspiring example of an organization working tirelessly to strengthen our province's cultural richness while giving back to our local community in many ways, including Seva. There is no question that Ontario's Sikh community plays an important role in our province. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. A member from Duffy, Caledon. And bless you, Speaker. <laughs> April is Organ and Tissue Donation Awareness Month, more commonly known as Be a Donor Month. I want to recognize the efforts of the Trillium Gift of Life Network, who were able to register over 254,000 individuals to become a donor and tissue donor last year alone. More than 3 million Ontarians, almost 27 per cent, have already registered their consent to donate organs or tissue after their death. It's an important milestone we can celebrate, but we need to do more. The good news? Last year, 265 organ donors saved more than 1,000 individual lives because of a transplant. A new record. As we know, one organ donor can save up to eight individuals. The challenge, the reality is today in Ontario, there are still over 1,500 people waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. This Easter weekend, many of us will be with our families. Potential donations have been lost because family members were not aware of their loved one's wishes. Talk about the importance of signing up at beadonor.ca with your family and why organ donation is important to you. While organ and tissue donation has increased significantly in Ontario, a person still dies every three days because there are not enough donors to meet the need. Trillium Gift of Life Network, Ontario's organ and tissue donation and transplant agency, is marking Be a Donor Month throughout the province with awareness raising events being held in cooperation with local advocacy groups, as well as many organ donor registration drives, including 25 being held across Ontario hospitals. It only takes two minutes to register online at www.beadonor.ca or at your local Service Ontario Centre. Let's all do our part and register to be a donor. Thank you, Member Statements. Member from Niagara Falls. Earlier this week, I was happy to attend a press conference with Unifor President Jerry Diaz, Unifor Economist Jim Stanford, and the leadership from all the GM Ontario locations on the importance of the auto sector in this province. They were here to deliver a report on the damage that would be done to Ontario if the GM plants in Oshawa and St. Catharines are closed. The case they made is undeniable. There's a GM plant in Niagara that employs 2,000 people many of whom live, shop, and spend their time in my riding in Niagara Falls. So you see these jobs are extremely important to our community. These employees, most of them make decent wages, buy their groceries, raise their kids, pay their taxes in the surrounding ridings. It's the same spin-off effect we can see in businesses. GM makes its products and supports our local manufacturers. Our retirees depend on the sector too. 6,000 retirees who need to know that their pensions and their futures are secure. These are workers and retirees that generate vital tax revenue to support our health care, our education, our community, and our businesses. Mr. Speaker, to say for every one job in the auto sector, it creates spin off jobs. And you can clearly see how important a strong auto sector is. This is exactly why we need to support and extend the footprint agreement that was signed in 2009. It was a loan that kept GM from going under here in Ontario and protected thousands of jobs in the province. Unfortunately, my PC parties didn't support those loans. This government, and quite frankly, this legislature, needs to work with GM, Ford and Chrysler and the unions to make sure the auto sector grows in Windsor, Oshawa and St. Catharines instead of disappearing. Communities depend on it. 26,000 jobs could be lost. These facilities are the economic anchors, Thank you. and it's easy to see why this government needs to step up and support the industry in Ontario. Thank you. Thank you. Member statements, the member from Cambridge. Thank you, Speaker. I rise on your behalf today as the neighbouring MPP of Cambridge to acknowledge the tremendous partnership that's taken place in your riding of Brant between the Ontario Lung Association, Dave Schutz from Brantford Hyundai, and Hyundai Canada. It's fitting that I also stand here in your place, Speaker, as we both sit on the Ontario Lung Health Caucus and are strong advocates for lung health issues. I move the Lung Health Act, which will help all Ontarians breathe easier. When Dave Schutz partnered up with the Ontario Lung Association more than seven years ago, they didn't dream of the loyal bond that would develop. 
Dave, who suffers from Aspergillus disease, understands the struggles that many lung health sufferers go through when they're suddenly short of breath. Today, Dave, at a photo op with Brant Brantford Hyundai, is making a $20,000 donation to the Ontario Lung Association, marking $120,000 he has now donated to the cause over the past seven years. Between matching contributions from Hyundai Canada, Dave Schutz, and revenue earned from sponsorship of the Walter Gretzky Street Hockey Tournament and the annual Phyllis Gretzky Memorial Golf Classic, over $245,000 has been raised towards lung health research. On your behalf, I'd like to thank Dave Schutz for his generosity, Hyundai Canada, and Sandy Lee, the Ontario Lung Association Volunteer Fund and Development Coordinator. This partnership, Speaker, is a partnership between commerce and the not-for-profit and should be held up as a classic example for why it's so very important to acknowledge and to encourage corporate gift-giving. Thank you. Thank you. Member Statements. Member from Huron Bruce. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Last Thursday, I had the pleasure of attending Dream Big event in the town of Clinton. The Dream Big event aims to help those with developmental disabilities realize that they can achieve their dreams. The theme of the event was inclusion, reaching goals, and overcoming obstacles. Actress Lauren, Lauren Potter, who portrays Becky Jackson from the TV show Glee, was the guest speaker, and she just shone at that event, and she was indeed very motivational. Foundations Huron is a not-for-profit organization that falls under Community Living Central Huron, and it was the foundation that hosted this evening. The foundation aims to assist young adults with developmental disabilities to make the transition from high school to adult life. Foundations Huron works with individuals to set goals, engage in community activities and events, increase employment, volunteer and social opportunities, learn self-advocacy and leadership skills. And in terms of self-advocacy and realizing a dream, I'd also like to give a shout out to a, a young champion from Seaforth, Ontario, by the name of Morgan. He's 11 years old and he suffers from ASD, a form of autism. And this morning he had his dream realized by hosting a school assembly to talk more about autism and ASD. So the kids in his school understand what he lives with every day. His goal was to raise $750,000, or so let me say that again, $750. And I'd like to congratulate him because as of noon hour today, he raised $1,000. And the Brussels Optimists donated $10,000 as well. Congratulations, Morgan. Thank you. Member Statements, the member from Burlington. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's my pleasure to stand in the House today to commemorate World Autism Awareness Day. Designated in 2008 by the UN General Assembly, World Autism Awareness Day aims to increase awareness about autism amongst all levels of society around the world. I'm also happy to say that in the City of Burlington, in my riding, along with other municipalities from Halton Region, they have also declared today to be Autism Awareness Day. I recently had the privilege of meeting with members of PATH parents of adults with autism, Transitioning with Hope, a support group of parents of high-functioning adults with autism. Located in Halton Region, PATH is the only adult-focused autism group in Central West Ontario, and their mission is to bridge the gap between exclusion and community inclusion, between services for children with autism and young adults who fall between the cracks as those supports end. PATH participants are researching ways to improve appropriate supports and inclusion in the areas of employment, social activities, housing, health, education, and financial assistance. In the last seven years, the number of children in Ontario schools with ASD has gone from 700 to 18,000. These children are supported throughout school, but when they are graduating from high school, they want to continue to evolve as adults, as all young people do. They want to become contributing members of society, and they need appropriate supports. Organizations like PATH and the loving parents who are members are leading the way in this endeavor, and through World Autism Awareness Day, we can help them and other groups like them to fulfill their goal of helping Ontarians live with autism, living with autism, sorry, to be happy, healthy, and productive members of our communities. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Member Stavis, the member from Brampton, Springdale. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Sikhs have lived in Canada, in Ontario, since the, the middle of the 20th century, and they represent a, a growing and dynamic population. They have contributed to the development and the prosperity of this province and of this country. Mr. Speaker, April 1st, the beginning of Sikh Heritage Month, gives Ontarians of all faiths and backgrounds the opportunity to remember and to celebrate and educate not only themselves but future generations on the contributions of Sikhs in Ontario. The month of April is significant to Sikhs as it includes the celebration of Vasakhi. Vasakhi marks the establishment of the Khalsa. 
Mr. Speaker, one of the teachings of Sikhism is selfless service, also known as seva. Equality and seva are the guiding principles of the Sikh religion. Seva is the principle of volunteer or charitable work being performed without any thought of reward or return. It is defined beautifully by Guru Ram Das Ji, who said, "Helping out is not some special skill. It is not the domain of rare individuals. It is, it is not the domain of rare individuals. It is not confined to a single part of our lives." We simply heed to the call of that natural impulse within and follow it wherever it leads us. Mr. Speaker, as a proud Sikh myself, I encourage all members of the House and all Ontarians to partake in the many events this month celebrating Sikhs and their contribution to our communities, our province and our country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes.